Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are doing another weekly wears video, what I wore every single day, all seven days last week. So if that's content that you think you wanna see more of, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you are updated whenever I upload something new. I had a really great mix of fragrances this week. I'm excited to jump into this list. So we're gonna start with Sunday. Now, if you have been watching my channel for any amount of time, you know that I absolutely love this first fragrance that we're talking about. Incredible stuff, versatile, really checks every single box. Scent I'm talking about is Mancera's Cedrat Boise. Black currant, leather, and vanilla are some of the notes in here. I do have a twist on cap. Don't know if that makes a difference. There's a lot of speculation about whether or not newer formulations or older formulations are better or worse. I don't get into that. This lasts a good amount of time on me, and I bought the bottle maybe a year and a half, two years ago, so it's not that old. Really nice atomizer. The best way to describe this scent, aside from its versatility, is it's step up from what your typical designer is. And by that, I mean, I know a lot of people mention this as sort of an entry level niche fragrance. So when you're first getting into niche fragrances, you might wanna look at this one. And I would agree with that. It's not overly artistic. It's not difficult to wear. It's really pleasing. It's really mass pleasing but it doesn't have all the little nuances that a designer fragrance might have. The familiar things that designer fragrances tend to do, this does not do. It's just a little different. It's a has a little more depth to it. It's a little bit smokier. That's probably the biggest thing here is how smoky it is. And although this is a summer fragrance, I probably wouldn't wear this in super hot weather. I wanna make sure that I'm wearing this in a situation where I'm sort of in and out of temperature controlled situa situations. I might wear it on a Sunday, going to have sort of a, a day with my buddies or going out with my family for lunch or something like that. Eat in restaurant. I wore it. The day I wore it, we went to legal seafood. We got some food and we uh, went to the park. So, you know, it's sort of a situation where it's that versatile. It's going to work in those situations, but it's also going to work for a night out. It's going to work for going to the office, uh, on the job site, whatever it is that you do, this is gonna fit the bill. I suggest you definitely get a sample of this, try it. Although if you are really itching and you can't get your hand on a sample, this is definitely blind buy worthy. In my opinion, I don't really say you should do blind buys and, or not. I, I think that's up to you, but this is blind buy safe. Really great stuff, Mancera's Cedrat Boise. So this next one really surprised me. I wore it on Monday. This is one that I had found at, I wanna say a Marshalls for a great price. Incredible stuff, was blown away by, I. this gets no hype and it should. I also love this house. Since I'm talking about is John Varvatos XX Artisan. Bit of orange, pepper and vetiver are some of the notes in here. This stuff guys, so good. Terrible atomizer, which is nothing new with Barbados fragrances. I think it's part of the reason why some people think these don't last long. You need to spray heavy and spray often. But if you spray heavy, I'm talking 15 sprays, you're not gonna overdo it. The, the atomizer sucks. As I was saying, this is underappreciated masculine vetiver scent. That's at its heart what this is. Has this fizzy, sparkly Coca-Cola vibe, peppery when I first put this on and I love it. I absolutely love it. And it's just addictive. I wore it, uh, it, was a, it was humid, it was rainy, we had some thunderstorms. And that's sort of when I tend to reach for my vetiver based fragrances and I said, that's the one. And what I will say is this also gets decent performance. So longer than most of my John Vavados fragrances, if not all of them. So I was blown away by the performance of this as well. Incredible stuff, has a little bit of a sexy edge to it. You could wear it out at night, in my opinion. Really versatile, masculine, underrated, and underappreciated John Barbados Artisan XX. This next scent was gifted to me by my wife and kids, and I got it for Father's Day. I just did a video on this one really telling you whether or not this is still worth it in 2023. Spoiler alert, it is. Go check out that video. Scent I'm talking about is Creed's Green Irish Tweed. 
iris, violet leaf, and cedar are some of the notes in here. And as I said, go check out that video. I think it's a really informative video when you're looking at this fragrance and trying to decide on what you know, whether or not you're gonna purchase it or not, it's pricey, it's expensive. You work hard for your money and you're not gonna just throw it away on something that's not worth it. This is exceptional to me. This is exceptional perfumery. There's nothing like it. It will remind you, again, I mentioned in that video, it's got sort of that cool water vibe, but it's not cool water. This goes in a completely different direction. It is amazing masterpiece, 10 out of 10 for me. This is in my top 10. There's not much to say about this. I don't care about longevity. Some people say, uh, I only get four hours. I don't care. It's that incredible. It's that incredible of a fragrance. It lasts longer than four hours on me. And I'll just go back and put more on. I, I mean, I have a hun hundreds of fragrances, so I'm not worried about burning through this bottle anytime soon. I reserve it really for special occasions, but uh, the night that I was wearing this, actually, we were supposed to go out on the tall ships and go to this uh, sort of networking event for work, and it got rained out. It was just absolutely pouring with it. Like, the f one hour before the event, they had to cancel. So that sucked, but I smelled good, and this is what I was wearing. Creed's Green Irish Tweed. On Wednesday, I, I don't have the fragrance because I was testing it out. I wore it as my scent of the day. Scent we are talking about is Mont Blanc's Explorer Platinum. Now, wasn't impressed. I don't know what the situation is with this fragrance. My impression is that possibly, I'm, I'm just sort of guessing is that I think some free bottles were sent to YouTubers because everyone was hyping this one. And look, it's all subjective. If those individuals love the fragrance, so be it. You love it, that's great. I thought it smelled a lot like Abercrombie and Fitch's Fierce mixed with Mont Blanc's very own Legend. So that that sort of combination to me is redundant, at least in my collection. And it didn't do it as well as those fragrances. Some of you disagreed with me. I did a short, uh, a quick one minute uh, review short of my, uh, essentially my first impressions of the scent. A few of you didn't agree that it smelled like those scents. Well, it's all subjective. I mean, that, that's immediately what I got when I put it on skin. Just wasn't that interesting to me. It smelled synthetic, smelled kind of cheap. I'd be curious. Let me know in the comment section down below what your experience is with Explore Platinum. I think it's one of those fragrances that maybe I'll revisit in a few months and see if it, my mind changes on it. It just, I wasn't blown away by it. And that's probably due to the hype that was sort of leading up to me trying it because it was hyped. I, I'm sure you guys would agree with that. So uh, longevity was okay. Projection was okay. Just the scent overall didn't do it for me. Mont Blanc Explora Platinum. On Thursday, in my last rack store pickup, I was able to grab this one. Scent I'm talking about is Hugo Boss Reflective Edition. Citruses, cypress, and vetiver are some of the notes in here. And this is a cross between, and I say it in that video, the Rackstall Hall video, uh, it's a cross between reversed and man extreme from Hugo Boss. And there's reasons why I like each of those more than this. What reversed does really well, it does well. It does that sort of citrusy, easygoing summertime vibe, just the right amount of sweetness, pleasant, mass appealing fragrance. And then on the other side is the Man Extreme, which does, it's a little more classy, it's a little more masculine, it's a little more versatile, and still smells great and fresh and clean. And that's this, it just doesn't do either one very well. So it's just kind of average, but it's not bad. It's not a bad scent. So I don't want to say that it, I would probably more prefer to own each of those than own this, just this. Man Extreme is the best performing Hugo Boss from this line, from this canteen style line, best performer. That's also an eau de parfum concentration last all day. Uh, so I was really uh, taken back by that. Longevity on this wasn't great, not really wasn't good at all. Uh, so you know, keep that in mind. But what it does, it does really nicely. I also wanted to mention this reminded me a bit of Dunhill Century Blue, which I love. I love that fragrance. Minus the iris note, the, that has an iris note that stands out to me, but it's similar. So this is really sort of a blue fragrance. There's Embroxen in here and 
but I don't think it's a bad pickup for $25. I think you're getting a solid fragrance. Just keep in mind that there's others in the line that I like more, but overall, it's not bad. Hugo Boss Reflective Edition. Now this next one is discontinued, but I think you can still get it if you look on eBay. I'm not gonna link this down below unless I find it from a legitimate distributor or, or one of the uh, discounters that I use. I will never really link to an eBay unless it's my eBay or an actual store. So, and I, I don't sell fragrance on my eBay, just so you guys know, but if it was me trying to sell a bottle, I would direct you there. But I don't trust every seller on eBay. I really leave that up to you guys. But this scent is incredible. I digress. Scent I'm talking about is Joseph Abood's Black Linen. Man, this stuff, okay, gets compared to Terre d'Hermes, Clary Sage, Haitian Vetiver, and Grapefruit are some of the notes in here. This is probably top three work fragrances for me. The day I wore this, I was showing a property that we just listed for sale and I didn't want to overwhelm anyone. It was super hot that day. This works in the high heat. Man, I just got a little on my fingers. This stuff, guys, incredible. I like this more than Terre d'Hermes. I just do. It's just better. It smells more natural to me up top. Uh, it's a little more dry. It's just super addictive and lasts all day on me. So it's subtle, becomes a skin scent after like four or five hours, but it's just perfect. It, it, it sits on clothes perfectly. You can wear this in any situation. You're gonna smell great. It's, it's that addictive. I just love it. And it, I, how I found this was just kind of a, by accident. I was getting fitted for a suit. I was at men's warehouse, my friend's wedding. Uh, that's where all the groomsmen were getting their tuxes fitted. I was just kind of walking around the store while I was waiting to get fitted. And they had these out to be tested, tried it. <sighs> so glad I did. This stuff is awesome. And I know some of you guys like this one as well. I turned some of you guys onto this one. So if you can find a bottle of this, you want an alternative to Terre d'Hermes. It's again, where it's discontinued, might cost a little more on eBay. I want to say I paid around 60 or $70 for this bottle, worth every penny. I love this stuff. Joseph Abood, Black Linen. Finally, on Saturday, one of my subscribers, Chandler, was kind enough to send this my way a little over a year ago. And I picked it up, wore it on Saturday, and just fell in love all over again with this scent. Scent I'm talking about is Brioni's EDP Intense. Pink Pepper, Green Apple, and Oud are some of the notes in here. Fantastic atomizer, magnetic cap. When I tell you guys this thing is buttery smooth, you can feel it in your nose. It reminds me of like a really nice suede with some sweetness, the apple, vanilla, that oud comes in, in through the mid. It's just super classy. I picture a, a guy, like a younger guy wearing this out in the evening. He's trying to impress a girl or something. He's taking her out to dinner. He's gonna put on a fragrance like this because it's so, unique. It smells different than anything else that I've smelled. That apple is so well done. It's not overly sweet. It's just incredible. And longevity is really nice on this. Although it does sit closer to the skin, this is the type of fragrance that you're going to find is just, you want it to be discovered. You're going to get in close with someone and has this sort of sexy edge to it. Guys, seriously, consider this fragrance as one of your next purchases, because if you are over the Versace Eros's, Throw it in the trash. Grab this one. Brioni. Eau de Parfum. Intense. That's all I have today, guys. As always, let me know in the comment section down below what your weekly rotation was. I always love knowing what you guys are wearing. Gives me ideas as to what I might try next. And you guys never let me down. Drop it in the comment section down below. If you like what you saw today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit that bell notification so you are updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic week and I'll see you in the next video.